Can we call you a friend? Or is I, more I, than I that? I thought I was your sister. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Sunday Spinning Sunday. I'm Mauricio. I'm Alex. I'm Ryan. And today uh, we have Alex. <laughs> Me amo es Nubio el Bueno. It's the only Spanish word I know. I've been a big fan of you guys for ever. It seems like you guys have been doing this for years now. So professional, the quality here. You look like Obama. You're so old now. Okay. I really wanted to start collecting records, and then as soon as I saw all your videos, I instantly knew I wanted to be a part of it. So, of course, me being me, I took the easy way out, and uh, Amazon.ca. What up? How many records did you buy on Amazon? At, at once. I, I think the most I ever had shipped to me at once was eight or nine? In one? One shipment, one big box. I'm a big movie buff. We all went to film school together. I'm very music oriented with my films and with particular films that I do enjoy. I think Star Wars was my big introduction to film scores. Original pressing of Empire Strikes Back. I'm sorry, a new hope can suck it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm a huge Vader fan. Obviously, like, look at this cover. It is beautiful. You open it up and there's a booklet inside. Imperial March, hands down, probably the best. Daniel, I know, it's so good, right? <laughs> this is art. This is why we went to film school. Shout out to Jared. What's up, buddy? That one is probably my most expensive record. Oh, please tell me. <laughs> 70 bucks. $70! $70. But it's worth every penny because of that will be passed down to my children. If you're gonna spend 70 bucks on a piece of art like this, original pressing too, I think it's worth it. Introducing uh, movie soundtracks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the best Batman movie ever. The two first finals I actually did buy were Inception and Dark Knight. Anytime you see a big name director, usually Hans Zimmer's doing the score now, especially with all these new superhero movies. Like he just has that gravas, bravado. See, I can use big words. Very heavy sounding, like Bruh! Inside, just beautiful artwork. This is a uh, 180 gram record, which I have no idea what that means, but apparently I'm told that's really good. That is a great thickness right there. The heavy weight pressings are a little thicker, the last longer, and better sound quality. So if you have a proper record with a good needle, you're saying the sound will be better. Yes. Now would this be considered mono or stereo? Stereo. For those of you at home, stereo means more than one. Please define mono. It's an STD. Probably one of the best movies from 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Gone Girl. People run for plot. Probably one of my favorite scores in recent times, uh, that and The Social Network. Just looking at this record, it looks really plain. Whoa, who's this? I don't know, but I'm sure it's important to the plot. But so this is another uh, 180 gram record. I actually run to this soundtrack a lot. It's got a lot of uh, really consistent tempos. Speaking of great soundtracks, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Drive. A lot of atmosphere, but the soundtrack to it, it's got Gavinsky, Desire, Electric Youth, um, the Chromatics, shout out to them. Nobody even talks about them. They're from England. Did you know that? I did not know that. Bloody hell. Um, it probably has my favorite opening title sequence. Like just Los Angeles at night. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Great vinyl, super gorgeous. Like Looks like bubblegum. It does look like bubblegum. Like this is beautiful, uh, I, I can't. Out of all the records in your collection, this is probably the one I'm most jealous of. Do you know where I got it? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Shout out to Amazon. For those who don't want to leave the house. Thank you. <laughs> this introduced me to Gavinsky, which now I'm a huge fan of what's called New Wave Retro. That is, it's electronic music. Literally, it sounds like it's from the 80s. Going from that, I proved to you, Gavinsky! Outlaw! Hey. So there this is go. the album that Night Call is actually on. Uh, it's a limited edition book with the popularity of Drive. Uh, he did a lot of publicity for this uh, album with a Drive-inspired soundtrack. He hasn't made a new album in a really long time. Please make another album, I love it. Oh, you're so good. So this is one of my uh, showy albums, really shiny. Very hard book. Don't do that to your vinyls, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Speaking of personal favorites and that stuff you can only really get on Amazon now. Not true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Muse The Second Law. This is the only album I've ever had a problem with, which sucks because it's one of my favorite Muse albums. It only skips on one song, and ironically enough, it's probably my favorite of their songs. Panic Station. Really colorful, very vibrant, very fun, which is what I think Muse goes for. Except drones, please don't buy drones. Like, speaking of awesome records, 
Shout out to my mom. Original pressing, Michael Jackson Thriller. The thriller, oh, thriller now. I absolutely love it. It smells like death, but oh, so good. Um, great cover. Is this used? This is you. Well, this is my mom's album. I know it's a sin to play it, but it's so good. What is this? Why is it a sin? I thought. Now I'm under the impression. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're but wrong. if you have an original pressing, you shouldn't play it. Hmm. Maybe not on a cross. Right. We don't say the C word here. I, I was under the impression that you shouldn't play original pressing because somehow it could damage it. Well. Every single time you play a record, it will get a little bit more damaged. It's the wear and tear of a needle running cross grooves. It's gonna happen. Original pressing, hey, if you, if you love the music, listen to it. Just remember something, guys. You're gonna be playing that record, I don't, I don't know how many times. Most likely, I'm pretty sure, if we're lucky, we're gonna die, and those records are gonna still be working. At the end, they're gonna make it farther than you. So if you wanna play your original pressing like I do with my Bowie albums, play it. And if you think, oh, the sound is disappearing, you're gonna disappear first on the sound. Shit happens. Hashtag so. shit happens. Tame Impala, Elephant, <laughs> changed my life. Great album, absolutely love it. I only knew them from Elephant, which is really the main reason why I bought this album. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolling Stones. My dad is a huge influence on my life. Whenever I think of him, I always associate it with either the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. Me too. Hey. Hey. Not your dad, my dad. Great pressing, sounds awesome. Absolutely love it. When I buy a record, I, I would like a lot of good songs that I like on it. And ironically enough, greatest hits have most of them on it. If I can get the job done with one buy instead of four or five, I'd rather do the one buy. Yeah, shout out okay. to Germans. Speaking of Germans, ladies and gentlemen, Daft Punk. They're French. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you want proof that DJs can do orchestra, Tron Legacy. This was a re-release. Um, luckily, I got it. Hashtag Amazon. Very close to my heart. Remember seeing it in theaters. Speaking of Daft Punk, I present to you probably my favorite of their albums, Alive. This is their 2007 live album. Three vinyls together. It is beautiful. Oh, wow. You know, you know, you know. Great album. Obviously, it's a mix of all their hits, but uh, just I love the way this album came together. Love your French music, even though I said you're from Germany. I just wanted to say thank you for having me on. It's great to be part of this community now. It's really cool. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram, alx.frizina. Thank you very much, Alex, for showing your vinyl and being on the show. This has been Sunday Spinning Sunday. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, shout out. I'm Ryan. I'm Mauricio. And I'm Alex. Bye. Bye. I'm going to the Delta where I can have my fun. Well, this is going to be an annoying episode. <laughs> <laughs> Too late!